Disclaimer. The following content is for general information and educational purposes only. Discussions are not legal advice, nor a professional opinion. No lawyer-client relationship is intended in answering questions which serve only as a background for discussions. Statements of the speakers are solely their own and do not represent any organization where they may be connected. I'm your host, Attorney Jericho Del Puerto. Okay, welcome back to our Labor Law PH podcast in English. If you have any topics that you want to discuss, feel free to submit it via laborlaw.ph slash podcast. laborlaw.ph slash podcast. If you submit a question in English, then we will answer it in English. If you submit a question in Filipino, then we will discuss it in Filipino. We have a podcast dedicated or um, is in Filipino. <clears throat> so let's dive into our discussion right now, our topic for today. Uh, it was submitted via our uh, form at labor.ph slash podcast. So the message reads, is there any claim or separation pay from a private employer whose a regular employee had been sick for a month, hospitalized, and died? Okay. Um, well, first thing first, to the commenter, if he or she is a family or relative of that employee, our condolences. Um, okay, let's start discussing this topic. This is actually, um, I encountered these questions a lot when I conducted seminars, training, and workshops on labor law. Not a lot of people seem to understand or appreciate how our labor law works, particularly in cases where there is a work, a worker or an employee who uh, encountered an accident, who got sick, and unfortunately, sometimes dies. So, in our situation here, um, it appears that we have a regular employee that got sick for a month and then hospitalized and died. There is no information here whether it's work-related or not, so I'm under the impression that this is some form of sickness already be experienced by the employee and not exactly work-related or work-connected, I suppose. But let's discuss this in two ways so we can fully cover it. So let's just say it's a sickness that the employee got and has no relation, connection with his employment. Like, for instance, um, could that be? Maybe a pneumonia of sorts or something like that. And then he already had some form of pre-existing illness that might have aggravated because of that and resulted in the death. In such a situation, um, unfortunately, the employer is under no obligation to uh, pay the uh how do you call that the beneficiaries or the immediate family members of the worker except of course for the final pay or whatever benefits are owing to the employee that has not been paid or collected by the employee when we're talking about, if we're talking about like an additional monetary amount to be paid to the family of the workers from the company, unfortunately, there is no such legal obligation 
or requirement on the part of the employer. That is because that is the entire purpose of why we have SSS, Social Security System, SS benefits, particularly the ECC, Employees Compensation Commission, and other benefits such as the PAMEBIG. I think PAMEBIG HTMF has a funeral assistance as well. And I'm not sure with PhilHealth, but I think maybe PhilHealth also has one. I'm not certain with PhilHealth PAMEBIG, but I know SSS has one, particularly under ECC. The reason why the employer has been contributing to the mandatory SSS contributions is exactly for this purpose. For whenever an employee gets sick, for when an employee um, might pass away, resulting in an SSS claim for funeral and death benefits. So that is the whole purpose why we have that system. So to be very clear, um, it started with the labor code in the 1970s when we had the creation of the Employees Compensation Commission or ECC wherein there was a state insurance fund, SIF, that was created to cover work-related compensation claims for sickness, critical accident, and, the, and death. So it acts like an insurance and then uh, it was further enhanced or expanded by the SSS and uh, as mentioned, I think also by the Pag-ibig. So that is how it is set up. So to go back to the question, unfortunately, the employer again, the employer that in such a situation is not under any obligation to provide for any additional amount. Of course, it is different if there is some form of uh, stipulation in the employment contract or there is a favorable company policy with respect to providing funeral and death benefits or similar benefits to that effect. In such a case, it becomes an obligation on the employer because it is a stipula stipulation or an agreement, or if a company policy, it is a benefit that has already been vested or given to the employee. And that is the only the case where the employer may be required to pay an additional amount in relation to the death of the employee. But without that stipulation, without that policy, the company is under no obligation. It is also the reason why it is best always to check with employers whether there is some form of um, HMO or insurance that has been that is provided to employees or workers, particularly for employees who work in a very in a high risk or dangerous jobs or occupations they should be provided some form of insurance because of the risk or possibility of being injured or getting sick or dying in connection or arising out of the work that they have been doing. So there, it would be best if the commentary here process all claims, death and funeral with these agencies, with the SSS, the Social Security System, the ECC, the Employees Compensation Commission, the PAGEVIG or HDMF, Home Development Mutual Fund, and PhilHealth. Of course, there's also not, nothing stopping the employer or company from providing some form of financial assistance but this is more of gratis or gratuity meaning it's discretionary it 
will come from the generosity or magnanimity of the management or the owner of the business. But it cannot be forced or compelled from the employer because it is a, an act of liberality or generosity. So there. I hope this has been educational and informative. See you in the next discussions.